Hello everyone, welcome to another video and in this video I'll try to show you how gaming tutorials they work in Samsung. We'll be starting step by step on various gaming tutorials that are available. See, you can also, they are very very easy, you can also simply click on all those things and learn by yourself. But for some reason, if you are stuck, I'll show you and you can watch this video and show you that how you can proceed further. At the same time, I'll try to explain what is happening. So I'll uh, try to tell you that how this step is going to help you analyzing your structure, analyzing your protein or any other molecule that you're working with. And these are going to really help you and, you know, have you having the basic understanding of Samson. So please open the Samson software and then follow along, learn with me. So in this way, I should be able to, you know, understand how a new user is going to feel uh, about the Samsung. They are pretty easy and uh, we should be, you should be completing these tutorials. Okay. All right. So let's get started. So where we can find uh, the, the help guide or the tutorials, what you have to do is if you can go to like, for example, you will be in the home tab and then you have to go to help. So when you click on help tab, you can see various things and then you can also see tutorials and, and uh, it's, it's the learning part of the Samsung software. Here, what you do is click on this one and then another tab will open in which you can actually see four uh, different tabs. One, a documentation center, then you have user guide, then Python scripting guide also, and then a developer's guide also, right? Okay, so we'll start with uh, the beginners tutorials and you can see interactive tutorials are also being created by Samson. And then let's follow and see what is going to happen and how much we will learn. And I'll also try to summarize, you know, with my understanding of biology or uh, proteomics, that uh, what information I can I can additionally convey to you. Okay, so we'll start uh, by clicking on the documentation first. And if you click on the document, documentation center, it will directly take you uh, to the website where you can get all the documents. So here it is. And you can you can see you have user guide, you have tutorials, scripting guide also, different, different things are there. I'm going to explore all these things in detail in my further videos. So please stay tuned and just follow along because this will help us to understand this particular software in a, in a very, very interesting way. So you can go to user guide and user guide will uh, you know, show you uh, different features. So I'm going to create uh, videos on all those things. Hopefully later on, we will have a detailed playlist on all these things. Okay. Okay. Before we start doing the interactive tutorials, let me close this Samson AI so that we have entire screen. Okay. So uh, when I clicked on that one, it uh, went out the help section. So I have to, I think, again, click on tutorials and then you have to click on this working with documents. OK, so when you click on working with documents, it will tell you that, OK, an introductory tutorial describing how to work with Samsung documents. So in this one, when you create any, any, uh, you know, start a project, it will be a Samsung document. OK, that is my understanding. Now click on start tutorials. Uh, when I click on this one, automatically a particular structure got imported and then uh, there is something blinking right on the left side and there is uh, a mouse cursor moving uh, and trying to direct me to a particular uh, tab. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty easy. It, it is pretty self-explanatory that what we need to do in this one, what I'm understanding is we have 13 steps that we have to complete and it's trying to tell me, I'm just not reading this, it's trying to tell me that I need to click on this structure right over here, right? So. If you're not able to understand that, you can even read this. So uh, it's telling you a few things. For example, documents have, it's talking about the Samsung documents. Documents have a hierarchical structure. Each node has one and only one parent and possibly some children. Uh, okay, interesting. So only one parent will be there for each document and then possibly some children's will be there. And uh, I, I mean, who are those children's, right? So let's let's see the documents uh, view. The document view shows the document structure here, a camera node, camera one. So yeah, I can see this, the left side, the camera node one and a structural model, which is one YRF. This is pro possibly the protein uh, PDB file. A structural model may contain atoms, bonds, chains, residues, and structural groups, etc. All right, so it's explaining what we have. It's explaining what are the nodes. In this case, camera is the one we have. We can have, I think, separate nodes, and those uh, possibly uh, are, are the, you know, each node has uh, one and one, only one parent, and then possibly some children's, right? So maybe we are going to have multiple different features uh, below this particular structure. Anyways, so in the center, what I'm seeing is uh, is the is the Samson uh, you know protein molecule, 
and the 3D structure. When I am hovering my mouse over the structure, I can see the information, which is pretty good. And if, if you're new new and you haven't watched my previous video, please watch that video because I've, I've shown you how you can use, uh, you know, all the, uh, the commands related to moving the structure. That means uh, how you can use mouse in Samson. That is very, very important. That is going to be really helpful for you to, uh, you know, see the structure, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, it's not that difficult, okay? All right. Uh, okay, so what we have to do next is we have to click on this one. So I'm going to click and I'm going to complete the step one. Wow. And Samson says here, well done. Okay, notes selected in the document view are highlighted in the viewport. That is true. I can see my entire protein as is now glowing, I guess, right? Which contains the 3D representation of the system. Perfect. Next, expand the structure model by clicking on the plus sign. All right, so as you can see over here, we have this plus sign. And if I click on this one, it will become minus sign and then plus, minus, plus, minus. You can keep on doing that. That is what is being shown right over here also. Okay, so when, when I click on this, I'm getting another. Uh, and then, yeah, and then you click again on the plus sign that is being, that's a molecule and then it's got selected. And then I can create another one, uh, which is protein, P-R-O-T. Right. So well done. Now you see the next level, which is uh, now expand the prot segment. So it's telling me, OK, OK, now you can expand it further. So after protein, oh, OK, now I get it. When you click on this one, it's going to expand and you can see specific amino acids right over here. So I can see a lot of amino acids if I scroll down. OK, it's saying great. And now you can see the residues in the protein. Now select the serine 2. Now it's specifically telling me to select the serine 2. OK, so how do you select it? By just clicking on it. Now what happens is the entire structure, it was glowing before. Now since I've selected only uh, serine 2, it's only the serine 2 that got highlighted. So we can, we can zoom in to serine 2. Let's zoom in. Here it is. OK, wonderful. So I can I can actually see if I click on this one, I can see that serine 2 is written uh, right on this label, which is great, which is really, really good. And it's also uh, showing various, various, uh, uh, so it's telling me this is CA, which is carbon, alpha carbon, right? And then if I move here, it, it is the B, CB, beta carbon, I guess. Okay, then it could be the nitrogen, it could be the, the red one is the oxygen. So I can basically very, very easily track down the ID of the, uh, the atoms in Samson. I really, I really like it. Okay, so what we do next? Now expand the serine 2 by clicking on the plus sign. Okay, so that means again, if I click on the plus sign, it's going to expand further. So what I'm seeing in this case. Okay, great. Now expand the backbone. So in this case, what I'm seeing is the backbone and the side chains of the amino acid, which is good. So expand the backbone of serine 2 residues. So first is the backbone. And again, you just click on the plus sign and now you can actually see the atoms. You can actually see nitrogen, calcium, and uh, sorry, not calcium, carbon, alpha, and then you have carbon beta, and then you have oxygen. Okay, now select the, it says, next step is select the oxygen atom in the serine 2 backbone. Okay, now you just click on this one. It's so easy to do, right? So click on this, and you can, now I hope you can see the oxygen that is in the center is glowing. Let's zoom in. Okay, let's let's move a little bit and, and let, let me show you this. This guy right over here, this red red round structure is the oxygen and then it's glowing right over here. Okay, so now it says, well, now it's a lot of documentation. Uh, well done, now you know how to explore the structure in the document, of the document. Okay, so if you have a structure in a document, this is how you can actually explore the entire molecular architecture of that particular molecule. In Samson, you may have multiple open documents. So you can, okay, you can open multiple documents in, in Samson and then, uh, you know, you but you can only work with one document at a time. It will be, this is how it is going to work out here. You can not have active multiple tabs, You especially it comes to the documents. So you can only work with one document. Having several documents is useful when you want to work on different projects. Yeah, okay. Well, when, when you have multiple projects going on, obviously you need various um, protein structures open at the same time, possibly. Yeah, so there is the possibility of doing that. Now create a new document by clicking on the file. Okay, so whatever we have done, we need to actually create a document. So it's showing you on this panel that what is going to happen if you click uh, on file and file icon is blinking. So you know, you are getting directed everywhere. Uh, and it's a it's a lot of help that you're getting. So you can click on new, I guess. Yeah, control n, you can also uh, type control n. And then 
okay so now what i do create a new document by file new in the home menu and uh, put the name you want well let's put the name as mm, tutorial one zero one okay so when you click okay it got saved all right so great you are looking at the new document uh, to switch between opened documents you can use the document switcher in the home menu so here you can see you have multiple documents opened so you can go over there because you have created multiple documents now you can switch on different documents so let's see what happens when i click on this one okay i have document one i have tutorial one tutorial working with documents three documents and i can i can switch over between different document one and i come back to tutorial and then working with document okay wonderful step number 12 so what happens next well done you are back in the tutorial document when working with your document do not forget to save them periodically okay so yeah this is very very important because sometimes you do a lot of modifications in the structure and then you forget to save this so it's very very important to save the document so how you can save it like i, I guess file and since i've already saved it but i can see the save icon right over here to finish the tutorial close the tutorial document by clicking on file close document okay file and then we'll close document or you can also close document by typing control plus w good to know all right look at this look at this i've just completed and i've got the congratulations on completing the documents and then you can follow other tutorials to start exploring samson by yourself okay and then it will direct you to various document centers okay let's see how much i have done okay i have completed the part one beginners which is uh, the working with documents okay great now i think the takeaway from this one is uh, now i'm able to uh, you know open the document which is any document any any pdb file i already know how to open the pdb file that i've al already shown in my previous video where you can use fetch uh, option that is available in the in the app let me show you again so in in tutorial it automatically got opened up right but uh, what you can do is you can go to home you can go to apps you can uh, basically click on all and fetch here you will get this uh, all the options selected and then you type the pdb id and the protein will get automatically imported and once you get the protein and then you can just play around uh, with the protein structure right so whatever we have done that's the part one how we work with the samson document and it was i guess a good learning experience because I'm, I'm doing it for the first time so i wanted to you know make a video on that and it it is a kind of in, interesting way where it is more like self-explanatory where you don't need any help you, there is no need to watch a video it's uh, it's, it's automatically it's going to uh, come to you but uh, you know if if you, if you watch my video and at the same time follow along it will be more uh, fun way uh, to do things because i'll also explain important things so for example when you're exploring those things when you when you know how to select and then you can change the visualization you can select the regions you can change uh, how how the color uh, look like of that particular region and you do that in your uh, research all the time okay all right so i think it was it was good uh, working with the documents and uh, now let's move on to the second one uh, in the in the tutorial and i'll create another video for that one okay so please stay tuned and watch all the videos and because slowly slowly we are going to uh, advance our understanding of samson and slowly slowly we should be able to learn samson uh, in a more and more professional uh, way and we should be able to create and do a lot of work with samson all right so that's all for today's video and i'll meet you in the next one where we will be seeing different part of the uh, gaming tutorial